Each new day brings new challenges, but AARP only sees possibilities. We're tackling the concerns of our communities and supporting the kind of change that can benefit all of us. Take on today with AARP. Learn how at aarp.org slash sd. Not everyone in Kelloland is practicing safe social distancing to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. We'll take you to a Sioux Falls Park where people are getting too close for comfort in the eyes of the mayor and nearby residents. Plus, Sioux Falls police make an arrest in an apartment fire that investigators say was intentionally set. We'll tell you who's facing arson charges. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know and news and weather as you start your weekend. First, let's check in with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. We're off to a quiet start, at least through much of Kelloland, but a couple of showers are lurking out there, just not in Falls Park early this morning. Beautiful scene, actually, 39 with a nice calm breeze in eastern parts of Kelloland, but not everybody has been as fortunate. Temperature-wise, though, we're all doing pretty well for ourselves. 37 through much of the northern parts of the I-29 corridor, including in Watertown, 41 Pier, 32 this morning in Rapid City, 40 Yankton, 48, though, in Aberdeen, 40 in Mowbridge. But you see that little sliver of upper 40s. That's where we have cloud cover in place on this Saturday morning. Winds really aren't that big of a factor this time around, and they won't be more often than not. Yes, we'll have a bit of a breeze now and again, but the big story today is going to be the chance for rain, especially East River. You can see those showers moving toward I-29 this morning on satellite and radar, not to mention the cloud cover I mentioned before that has kept temperatures from falling too far down the thermometer. This is not the only chance we have for rain, not just in the seven-day forecast, but today, for that matter, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, as South Dakota passes 2,000 confirmed cases of COVID-19, including more than 1,700 in Minnehaha County, Governor Christy Noem is extending the stay-at-home order for vulnerable people in Minnehaha and Lincoln counties for another two weeks. I'm going to ask that vulnerable population to continue to stay at home and make sure that they are social distancing and ask their community members and their family members to go above and beyond to help uh, run their critical errands for them, to help them with their grocery shopping, help them get things done so they can stay home. The stay at home order is for people who are over the age of 65 or who have chronic medical conditions. The city of Sioux Falls is still stressing that people need to practice social distancing, but some are ignoring that recommendation. We shot this video at Heritage Park close to downtown where neighbors have complained about large gatherings of people. We asked the mayor if the city can do anything about that. All we can continue to do is preach the message of social distancing and being smart and uh, encouraging people to get out, get exercise. Exercise is not banned in the city, it's not canceled. Um, but we need people to not gather in groups. Right now, it's not illegal. That's the problem. The mayor encourages people to get outside and get some exercise, but do it safely. Well, starting today, you can enjoy musical performances that would otherwise have been postponed or canceled by the pandemic. Kelloland TV will be airing past concerts by the South Dakota Symphony, as well as last year's Levitt at the Falls outdoor performances. It's a way to use music to bring calm to an otherwise troubling time. Of course, being on the lawn is always our preference. Um, we love having everybody there together. But when that's not possible, like right now, we still want to fulfill that mission. We still want to find ways to build our community through music. The Levitt at the Falls Board of Directors will meet next week to make decisions about when or if outdoor concerts can take place this year. Now, the performances begin at noon central time today here on Kelloland TV with a half-hour concert by the South Dakota Symphony. That's followed by Levitt at the Falls featuring Spoon Cat at 12.30. For a full rundown of broadcasts in the coming weekends, go to this story on Kelloland.com. The Falls Police have arrested two people in connection with an arson this week. The fire broke out in the hallway of an apartment building on Rice Street Thursday. Investigators say an accelerant on the hallway floor and on an apartment door were lit on fire. On Friday, police arrested 33-year-old Joseph Louis Janice and 29-year-old Antoinette Marie Warren for first-degree arson. No one was hurt in the fire. Adam? We do still have a few more showers to keep an eye on this morning, but as I said a little bit earlier, this is not going to be the last we see of rainfall. East River 
today and really through the seven day forecast for that matter. If you're West River, though, you have a great day on the way today with really little, if anything, to talk about for western parts of Kelloland. The majority of the activity today is going to be to the east as we do have the chance for scattered showers and even a thunderstorm or two with a little disturbance moving through later on this evening. Much of Sunday is dry, both sides of the river for that matter, but again, overnight into Monday morning, we could see a few isolated showers in northeastern and east central parts of Kelloland. From there, it's Monday night into Tuesday with a disturbance that gets its act together to the west and then gradually moves eastward. So this time, everybody gets in on a chance for some showers and thunderstorms going into Tuesday. Now, in terms of rainfall amounts, you notice little, if anything, west of the Missouri River over the course of the day today, tomorrow, even into Monday. But by Tuesday, everybody gets in on that chance for rainfall, especially northeastern Kelloland, where we could see half an inch or more of rainfall through Tuesday afternoon. And that comes with that threat for some stronger thunderstorms at times. Today, though, the shower and thunderstorm chances confined to areas near and on either side of the I-29 corridor. Otherwise, not a bad day to get outside if you can. High temperatures in the low to mid 60s today with overnight low temperatures gradually falling into the mid 30s just about across the board. A few low 40s out there like in Mitchell and Yankton, for example. The rest of the seven day forecast is not terrible by any stretch. Sunday and Monday are fantastic days, but Tuesday is when things come off the rails. A windy, unsettled day with scattered showers and thunderstorms not out of the question. Now, the second half of the next work week looks a lot better and we have a nice warm up that takes us into the first weekend of May. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.